My name is Mark Waters. I teach history at George Monarch. Okay, history at George Monarch is we try and make it as interesting as exciting as possible. Um, lots of death, lots of gore, and that sort of thing. Um, we try and go right across the span, so we don't just look at 20th century stuff. We look at uh, medieval stuff, so a long way in the past, some more recent stuff. We like to go out as much as possible and go to as many different places as possible. One person once said that uh, the farther you look back, the farther forward you can see. And basically that's what history does. It allows you to sort of understand the world in which we live today and come to grips with it a lot more. And so therefore it is a useful subject if you want to understand the world around you. The subject itself is very successful, um, very good success rates and quite a good retention of students who all say they like studying history as your motto. If you're really into history, you can go on and study at university, um, particularly if you want to go to the Russell Group universities, which are the top universities. If you study history there, you're, the sky's the limit it's for you if you want to go on any sort of career you like. In terms of direct jobs, of course, for history, you're looking at um, archaeology related, museum related, heritage related. But as I said, um, you also, it gives you a lot of transferable skills which you can put into lots of different jobs. And if you look at bank, in the banking sector and the finance sector, you tend to find people that have history degrees there and they are quite successful in getting jobs in that area. If you decide to do history at um, Sir George Monarch, um, there are good combinations you could do, um, particularly combine it with economics or uh, any other humanities subject or politics, of course, which would be a, a good combination to look at when you're deciding what other A-levels you want to do.